I have 600 bowling balls. They are my palette. I can't mix a blue and a green to get a turquoise. I've kept them as a laboratory of, of my work because they are my materials that I can't escape from working with all the time. This piece is called Surveying Mars and it has to do with a lot of the myth about Mars and how amazing it is and I looked at this ball and I just said, hmm, red planet. And I had this fabulous surveyor's tripod and I just put it on top and it surveying Mars. This piece is called Mood Rack and it is a throwback to the old mood rings from the 70s. I have so many different toned bowling balls that I just went, hmm, yes, this is going to happen. And it's kind of threatening because it's set up this way and you know, most people don't like to get too close to my work. Most of the things just balance in terms of gravity. They are all very sturdy. Even in an earthquake, this isn't going to go anywhere. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. This is a piece called Spill and all of the the texts are water pollution chemicals and they're pretty self-explanatory. They're, they're um, sandblasted on the balls. And there's lead and zinc and dioxin and cyanide and MTBE and uh, all those fun things. This piece is a, a couple of decades old but since then there's probably a whole lot of new ones <laughs> that I could add to it if I wanted to. But anyway, um, keeping a bathtub around for many years in your studio takes up a lot of real estate but I think it was worth it <laughs> holding on to it. <laughs> yeah. This piece is called Pyramid. The fear starts really small on the bottom. These are sandblasted. It gets larger as it gets towards the top. And then it's very consumed with very large fear up there. <laughs> I think it's very timely right now during the whole COVID epidemic. It's unfortunate. Call this piece insomnia. It has to do with thing that many people face every night. You know, their their head just doesn't stop moving. So the the colors in the balls are all very bright because that's how insomnia works. You just can't stop thinking. The name of this is Mickey's America, and it has to do with obviously Mickey Mouse and his disciples, which are all of the children of America, evidently, and uh, that's why they're red, white, and blue. I've been working with bowling balls over 30 years, and I've done lots of things to them. Most dramatically, I've dropped them off of buildings to break them. They only break in the winter. They don't break in the summer when they're warm, because inside they get they get, so, they get so happy and gelatinous that they don't want to break. But in the winter they break, and I've broken a few. They do tend to balance on the thumb holes, which is wonderful. I can balance several of them, but as I say, you know, when, when there's little kids, kids love bowling balls. They'd come over to them and grab them, and if they weren't attached to things, they'd be seriously injured. So I'm, I'm careful that way. So this piece is called Secret California and it has to do with California going underwater, being burned up, being, you know, all the terrible things that happened to California specifically. And this is a, a leaf grinder of some sort. I don't know why this reminds me of California, but it has, it has colors that are desert-like. And then I've been to Joshua Tree and, and just looked at the rock formations there. I love nature, I spend a lot of time in nature, and I hike, I'm a serious kind of marathon deep woods hiker. This piece is one of the ones that balance. It's called Secret Concert. 